Hello, it's your boy J4Peace back with another video. And uh, yeah, today we're going to talk about the top three biggest mistakes you do not want to make in OPBR. Now, I know a lot of us, I know some of you guys are going to be new. I know some of y'all might be new players to the game or whatever. So I just want to give you the top three biggest mistakes you do not want to do in OPBR. Um, and yeah. And uh, before we get into the video, like, share, subscribe, turn on notifica no notification bells for more content. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first mistake, the, the first mistake I think a lot of people make is metals. Now, in my opinion, me, I don't have the best metal sets yet, of course, because I'm still grinding for the best metal sets. But... What you want to make sure is that you do not take metal traits and apply it to metals that don't fit the criteria whatsoever. So, for example, if we go here, so we go here, metals, right? Okay, let's go to, um, let's go to, okay, let's go to uh, metal traits, trait transfer, right? So, let's go here, right? So, let's say Arlong, right? Defense. If we go to metal items, you will have you're, you're gonna get stuff like these over time when you're playing a One Piece Bounty Rush. So, if you read this here, it says when equipped character is a character type Animal Kingdom Pirates, right? As you can see here in quotation marks, Animal Kingdom Pirates. You do not want to apply this metal trait to this metal set. Why? Because you don't. Because unless you're unless you're using this for um if you're using this metal set for for um not an animal kingdom pirates then that trait has nothing to do that that trait has nothing to do with you you only apply this trait for an animal kingdom pirate so if you know you guys know kaido whatever you know but you cannot use this trait for anything else or else it, it or else it won't apply for that character this trait won't apply for that character and a lot of us we i know a lot of us get confused um about metals and traits and applying different tra sort of traits or whatever and we just add random um random um what you call it, random uh traits and boost to things that don't even apply to to the character so always make sure to um apply traits to the character that you're using and read the right traits okay and my recommendation is like okay i have 640 hp this is way better you can apply this to this metal instead right but when you have specific stuff like charlotte family and all that shit you know it you know you know what happens so yeah that's the first mistake i think a lot of us make and that we could learn from and then we can gain better hopefully hopefully you guys understood that explanation i'm freestyling the video so please forgive me if it's not fully fully clear our second mistake that i think a lot of us um do as a as a, a pbr like to new players is we don't understand our resources uh accordingly now our resources are very limited and very limiting well, PBR does this on purpose to make us spend more on stuff and whatever so gems it's harder to get coins is harder to get frags are harder to get even metal traits too they're harder to get right and in my opinion like I said in one of my last videos which I'll probably link. Uh, I'll probably leave a link in in the description of my last video for people on my advice for the 4.5 anniversary. I had said in one of the video that you can do whatever you want, right? But in my opinion, you should also know how to use your res resources accordingly, you know. And this game is all about learning and whatever. Like me, before when when I first started playing this game, I used to take my gems and used to spend it off a lot. Like I used to like like i was a free to play and i used to spend my gems on every almost every single banner 
bro you never saw my ass with over 100 gems and if i did had 150 gems to me that was a lot of gems at the time so over time i learned how to uh, save and preserve my gems and understand how important of saving is not even and, and it's funny because that even helped me in the real world when it came to actual money that i have that i have it te taught me how to save it's the, the the resources are very stingy and same thing coins and uh, and uh, coins is a lot a bit more easier but yeah like know how to just saying like know how to use use your resources um accordingly like, so so let's say you have coins right let's say you have a low amount of coins me, me i have a million coins right but let's say i want to get two million go to the exchange shop go to cola so co colas you can only get after you, you 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 have a bunch of six stars so i'm just giving you like a, a just a, an example so let's say i want more coins you see for 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 cheap for cheap look for, for just only a little bit amount of cola i could gain twenty five thousand coins that's how you manage your resources you, uh, you, you gotta understand where and where to invest your resources in because you don't want you just you don't want to just waste your resources right you want to preserve it and spend it on the right things if you want a, a unit that you love make sure you have this amount of gems for that specific unit okay if you want two units you have to understand okay maybe i have to have this amount of gems so i can preserve these two units that means i cannot summon on these certain certain banners right okay there's a combination banner okay this it costs this much okay this whatever you understand what i'm saying so always know how to manage your resources and whatever you want to get whatever you want to do with it that's up to you but always make sure to manage your resources because because bandai is very stingy when it comes to resources i think this is i, I don't know i think this is going to be um um a, a bonus a bonus mistake before the, the before the third and final one um this mistake i think is pretty common especially for new players is not understanding the banners themselves oh trust me i made this mistake before i've made this mistake and it can be very confusing with the tickets and stuff um and my suggestion is maybe go on youtube and check to see how youtubers explain their banners let them tell you the details of the the, the, the amount of gems or maybe you can go on the reddit or something you know but always try to understand the banners that you're summoning on so let's say you want a specific character so let's say you want um olin right um her guaranteed so maybe if any of you don't know her guaranteed is a thousand eight hundred gems okay you need a hundred every full round is a hundred and eighty gems 180 gems spent to get um i think 10 tickets if i'm not mistaken i think you have to spin out like a whole a total of like 180 gems for for each for each summon right and it's a ticket based uh summoning thing so you know that's that's part of the, the criteria of like understanding ticket uh, understanding banners because a lot of us go in, go in there and just want to summon and think, oh my God, I want, I want Olin or whatever. You also got to go in and look at the drop rates. So to get her 0.2%, so you have to understand that you're gambling to, you're gambling for something that, that, um, that, that might not be, that might, that might not be in your favor, right? And I know you you all see people on the internet and be like, yo, yeah, I got I got her in the first five gens, nigga. I got in the first three gens, nigga. Uh huh, uh huh. No, no, you have to be realistic and understand that most people didn't even get her, right? Or most people could even like you know. And yeah, so you have to always understand the drop rates or whatever. I think this is a very underrated thing that people don't talk about is understanding banners and stuff like that. I think, and the third and final mistake that I think that um, people often make most of the time is investing and understanding characters. Now, what do I mean by this? So I think lots of people automatically judge characters soon after they release and assume that they're trash, assume that they're garbage, 
They assume that they're 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 dog water because they hear everybody else saying it. You know, and not a lot of people can be NPCs and like to follow what other people like to say, right? But and and they don't fully understand their character, and that's one of the biggest mistakes that people make is not fully understanding the character that they're using. That means also investing in the character. Sometimes y'all people invest in the wrong character. Sometimes when you first come into the game, you invest in um six star mihawk but he's out the meta in my opinion you should maybe go on youtube and watch um a tier list um unit tier list video i might even make a video ab about that probably later on maybe sometime in august or some shit like that maybe if i'm if i'm in the right place of mind to do it do it and i have more of an understanding but my opinion is for you is understanding your unit and knowing how to use that and knowing how to use that unit because some people would know how to judge a unit without even um without even understanding like for example um what's what's his name um i'll give you i'll give i'll give you guys a certain example um let's look at it um okay yeah whatever any unit any any unit that you that that, that you use just try to understand your unit that you're using and try to play them to their fullest potential. Okay, that means giving them the right medals, giving giving them the, the best traits. Sometimes you will get unique metal traits for them. Like the traits that I show you from before, you might even get specific metal traits for them that, that you can apply to your character later on. You know, understand un fully understanding your character and the character that you love the most that are, that you're using could greatly affect you when you're playing the game itself. You know, I see a lot of people they they go into games and they have some of the worst metal sets applied to their units. You know, even look, I'll give you an example. Me, I don't have the best metal set with Robin, but I gave her the best that I could, right? And I know a lot of us are limited on our, on our metal resources or whatever. You know, sometimes some of us have only been playing play, playing the game for like a year or a few months. But I all I know I know that she, she's a, a crit a crit based uh, attacker, and I have to make sure I apply some crit on her to add more a little bit more crit, HP and whatever. You know, not the best metal set, but as long as you can understand your unit. And understand what you're using into battle or whatever the fuck you're, you want to use her for he or she for it then you know yeah just may always try to make sure you understand your unit so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching the video like share subscribe turn on notification bell for more content thank you guys for watching the video stay blessed peace